A restaurant can bring my food out late, forget my order, bring me the wrong drink, and I'll get over it. But a hair in my food? Uh-uh. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> Hey folks, Lacey Green here for a D-News investigation. There are few things quite as disgusting or disturbing as sitting down to a nice meal while you're out and finding hair in your food, especially if it's baked into something like lasagna or meatballs, and extra especially if you don't realize there's a hair in there until you're chewing it up and maybe even swallowing it. Oh god, oh god, it's so bad. This has happened to me on a few occasions, and while I'm repulsed by it, the scientist within has to ask, will this actually hurt me, or is it just a psychological response? Here's the truth about finding hair in your food. It's generally nothing to be concerned about. Hair is made of keratin, a type of protein, and accidentally swallowing a strand or two isn't gonna kill you or make you sick. There's also a very, very tiny risk that the hair could have staph on it, which causes diarrhea, but the amount that can stick to a strand of hair isn't enough to make a fully grown person sick. The real risk is if staph is on a hair that gets into food, which is then left to sit for a while, allowing the bacteria to grow. This of course refers to food that's not later cooked, so the bacteria is never killed. If the hair is cooked into the food, it's especially low risk, even though in terms of dining experience, it's one of the worst restaurant sins of all. Some evolutionary biologists believe that we've evolved an inversion to hair in our food, along with things like toenail clippings, bodily secretions, and rotten food as a defense mechanism against disease. It's a psychological mechanism that ultimately helps you win the race in the survival of the fittest. Other scientists believe it stems from our cultural influence is because, for instance, it's not as gross to societies where eating out is a lesser known concept. Think developing countries or tribal societies. And hey, maybe it's both. Regardless, if you're still grossed out by hair in your food, just try to remember that amino acids from hair are actually used in your food all the time, namely to prolong shelf life and enhance the flavor of many commercially processed bread products like those at Noah's Bagels, Lunchables, McDonald's, and Dunkin' Donuts. The amino acid L-cysteine is harvested mostly from human hair using hydrochloric acid, although a small contribution may come from duck and chicken feathers. So where do the manufacturers get all that hair? The main exporters are India and China. Okay, so maybe the whole eating human hair anyway thing doesn't help with the gross out factor, but at least you can now preoccupy yourself with wondering if you are in fact a cannibal. Thank you for joining me for D-News, folks. Does hair in your food gross you out or do you shrug it off? Let me know down below. And don't forget to check out Analyst's new show, Best Breed Ever. Did you know that two Pomeranians survived the Titanic? Best Breed Ever tells you everything you want to know and didn't know about your favorite type of dog. New episodes are every Wednesday and Friday. I'll see you next time.